It's a sad fact. 35 children across the United States have died this year, the result of being left in the back seat of a hot car. So what if automakers were required to include technology to prevent it from happening? Jen Benisa tonight tells us about a push being made to protect your family. Jen? The Hot Car Act of 2017 was introduced in the House of Representatives this summer. Its goal? To prevent child fatalities caused by heat stroke from being left in the back seat of a car. Your car reminds you when you leave the key in the ignition and when you leave your lights on. So why doesn't it remind you if you forget your child in the car? Soon it will. If the Hot Car Act of 2017 becomes law, all car manufacturers will be required to have a system in place when you leave your child in the back seat. Parents can get easily distracted. It's um, the stress of life. There's a parent that can be driving and thinking of all the things you need to do. If there's any measures that can be put in place that can prevent harm or death of a child, I think that would be a good measure to be put in place. 735 children have died in the United States since 1998 from being left in a hot car. 35 of them this year alone. Five children died in Hawaii since 1998. One car manufacturer is already ahead of the game and has developed a system that will remind parents that they've left their child in the back seat. It works like this. We open the back door and that cues the car that we're putting people or gear, but most importantly people into the rear of the vehicle. We close the door. Then we just simply fire it up and the car is running. When we arrive at our destination, we're going to shut the vehicle off. And there we go. We have five audio cues, plus we have the visual cue, very clear, rear seat reminder. The great thing is all the cars already have sensors on them that let the car know when the vehicle's opened up. So it's just a matter of writing software. I asked if the rear seat reminder feature cost extra in the GMC Acadia we were shown and was told that it does not. I'll follow up and let you know the status of the Hot Car Act of 2017. Jen Boniza, KHUN2 News.